Life is short. I was there, hanging back by the wall when you were born. In no time at all, you were off to your first day at school, and I watched you go to class while I stood at the top of the schoolhouse. Eagerly, I saw you grow, change, experience life. You were special in your own ways, but from a distance, just the same as all the others. When your parents videotaped your graduation ceremony, I was hiding in the corner. You looked so happy. The whole world in front of you. You thought we would be together forever. But I knew better. These things always end the same. I sat in utter boredom at the edge of your desk as you worked your life away. You completely disappointed me. Ignoring me. You were always thinking of later, like all those other fools. Later, we could travel. Later, we could sleep in all day. Later, you would appreciate me more, love me more, respect me more. You turned out to be one of the bad ones. I guess I should have felt sorry for you, but really, I am quite used to it. I silently breathed in the scent of your hair and watched the colour evaporate, leaving grey and white. You used to have a vibrant crown of colour. You blamed me for stealing it away. You could not feel it as I licked your skin, my corrosive saliva burning wrinkles into your flesh, one so smooth and healthy. Later came and went. When you finally retired, it was far too late for all your plans for me and there was nothing I could do but what I've always done. Wait and watch. A sad, empty vase rested beside me on the windowsill of your hospital room. I patiently gazed upon your withering form. I could tell that you missed me then, near the end. Like so many before you and so many to come, you wished you had appreciated me more. You wept to your family, crying out for me, but I just sat back and watched. I was the only one keeping vigil when you finally passed. With a shrug, I closed that eye and opened another one. This one hanging on the back wall of that very same delivery room where you were born. It felt like moments ago to me. But then, your whole life was a blink of my eye. As time, I tend to see things differently from you mortals. Maybe this next one will appreciate me more.